Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, defending illegal trade policy. Beijing has a long history with employing protectionist strategies to force out foreign competition and maintain its captive domestic market dominance. On July 4th, the Chinese government once again declared that its policies were not out of line with international agreements. According to Kirby Chen of Reuters, the government in Beijing believes that its policies which block mergers and acquisitions with foreign-based firms are fair to all involved. Most importantly, the Chinese firmly believe that the broader national concern take precedence over the potential benefits to any single company. In September of 2008, American icon Coca-Cola attempted to purchase a domestic juice company in China. The $2.4 billion deal was blocked by the Ministry of Commerce on March 18, 2009. This was the largest and most public instance of overt Chinese blockades, but it was hardly out of the ordinary. China blocks all attempts by foreign firms to purchase controlling shares in their firms, and buyers are not only based in the U.S. Our seller Mittel, the world's largest steelmaker, has spread its influence into nearly every steel-producing country in the world, but they have long been blocked from entering the captive Chinese market. The government in Beijing is continually on the defensive about its unfair trade practices, because international governments and media clamor about free trade cheaters. The only problem is that regardless of international pressure, the Chinese do as they wish. Other countries or international organizations demand change, and the Chinese simply ignore it. In the case of mergers and acquisitions, they are no different than they are in any other economic sector. Chinese companies are encouraged through government incentives to buy out foreign firms, but no foreign firm may do the same in China. Chinese manufacturers are also encouraged to export overseas, but very few foreign exports enter China. The fact of the matter is the Chinese government follows practices which are clearly counter to the, to the commitments of other members of the World Trade Organization. On one side of the spectrum, we have the United States, the world's least protected country. On the other side, we have China, perhaps the world's most protected country. And each is supposed to compete on the same field. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more on this and other related topics, please tune in daily to economyandcrisis.org. Wake up, America. Open up your eyes. Wake up, America. Wake up.